What is going on everyone and welcome to the Stock Trends channel. So in today's video, we are covering Wish. Again, here we have some news out from yesterday that we do want to talk about. I'm hearing some rumblings. This is bad news. This is the end of the world. We want to cover that news, of course, and how the stock is progressing, setting up. How has the recent pullback, the recent dip been setting up in terms of support resistance going forward? So here we are on tip ranks. They are still running that sale. I'll leave it linked in the pinned comment and description box down below. Tons of resources here. So we see the volume. Look at the volume yesterday. 68 million shares. That's the concern. The volume has started to fade off. It seems like the attention was there the past like two weeks, and now it's starting to fade on off, and we're seeing a sell-off. So we're seeing a sell-off on lower volume. That's currently the situation with Wish as of right now. So as for the news that we got to talk about, here it is. Wish announces chief financial officer transition. This by no means is the end of the world as people are talking about it. Okay, when it comes down to it right now, we're seeing that we have this transition and the current CFO plans to resign uh, effective July 23rd. And as of right now, the CAO and a director will be serving as the interim CFOs, co-CFOs going forward. And they've been with Wish since 2017 and 2018 respectively. So obviously we'll see how this plays out, but this doesn't seem like it's massive, massive news by any means. This happens all the time in a lot of companies. Sometimes it could signal potentially something wrong inside the company, but a lot of times it is just someone resigning, someone stepping down. Doesn't necessarily mean the end of the world. So diving into Wish, we are literally right at our trend line. So look at yesterday, we actually dipped down below 13. We came right to that trend line and we're holding. Right now we're at 13 here in pre-market, finished the day yesterday at 13. So we'll see how this plays out. If we do dip below this trend line, let's see if it comes down towards $11.50. That'll be the area to watch as another dip buy going forward on Wish. That's our next key area to watch after this dip under this 12.75 or so if it does hold and fall below that level. That's what we'll be watching here on a Wish. In terms of downside after that, $10 will be the next support to watch after that. And then below $10, yeah, we do have some solid support here down towards 750 or so. In terms of resistance, needs to get over 15 and hold over 15 after that, there's 1750 resistance. If we take a look at the one hour chart and we zoom ourselves out a little bit right here, what we're gonna see, let's get this queued on up. What we're gonna see if we scroll over to the left hand side, and we're going to see a 1765 high right here, which happened, I believe, in pre market hours. And so, of course, if you want access to trading in pre market and after hours from 4 a.m. all the way to 8 p.m., so full after hours, full pre market. This platform is Webull. We'll leave a link down below in the description box and pinned comment, like always. Sign up, get two free stocks in the process. After that 1765, Wish has some free run all the way up to about $20. So that's what we're watching after that. Hopefully this video was helpful. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. That's our update, at least for right now, on the price action we have going on with Wish and some of the recent news. Let us know in the comment section down below your thoughts, your thoughts on Wish, if you're holding and whatnot. Thanks so much, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.